In 2011, the Royal Australian Mint only produced two circulated $1 coins, the typical five kangaroo, or mop of ruse design, with a mintage of 17,951,500, and the Chogham Perth commemorative coin, with an even more substantial mintage of 19,397,000. Luckily, the Mint had more in store for us collectors in 2011 than these two unremarkable coins, as it also produced another 13 not intended for circulation coins with an array of beautiful and interesting designs. With low mintages ranging from 5 to 30,000, these coins are not only interesting in their own right, but are also highly collectible. The first of these NIFC, or not intended for circulation coins, we will be looking at today is the RAM 2011 Year of the Rabbit coin, with its low mintage of 20,000. This coin should not be confused with the 2011 Perth Mint $1 coin that came out on a PNC and has a completely different design. In August 2024, the carded RAM version was selling from $22 to $60. Quite a range, perhaps making this coin one to watch. Personally, I love this next one, as the ram's head design of course harks back to the same design that was first used in the pre-decimal Australian shilling, or one bob coin as it was colloquially known. The ram's head appearing on the Australian shilling from 1938 to 1963. Sadly, this one dollar version is only made from copper and aluminium and doesn't have any silver content like those old shillings did. In August 2024, this coin was selling for around about $20. Following on from the traditional ram's head design, the wool industry coin recognises how important the wool industry has been and still is to the Australian economy. The words riding on the sheep's back stamped into this coin recalls the old adage that was often repeated about the Australian economy's reliance on the wool industry in bygone years. This coin is usually sold in a two coin set that includes a 20 cent coin. The sets were selling for around about $30 in August 24, with a mintage of about 30,000. The performing arts and its importance to Australian culture has also grown over the years, with this coin paying homage to the inspirational performances of Dame Joan Sutherland, bringing joy and a bit of culture to Australia through her operatic performances. The ninth President's Cup was held in November 2011 at the Royal Melbourne Golf Club in Black Rock, Victoria. The USA team won by a score of 19 to 15 over the international team. Greg Norman was the captain of the international team. Fred Couples, the captain of the USA team. This coin has the lowest mintage of the 2011 not intended for circulation $1 coins, and yet was selling on eBay in August 2024 for $15 to $20. Celebrating 100 years of the Bureau of Statistics Census of the Australian population, this coin has a mintage of 15,024 and was selling on eBay for around $20 on August 2024. What do you think? Is this coin a bargain at that price? The Major Mitchell Cockatoo inhabits much of inland Australia. It is, however, considered endangered or threatened in some parts. Pink in colour, this bird is a galah in name and nature. And when held in captivity, can develop quite a vocabulary. The Major Mitchell Cockatoo coin has a mintage of 28,445 and was selling for around the $30 mark in August 2024. Found in mangroves, woodlands and river valleys in Australia, New Zealand and parts of the Western Pacific, the sacred kingfisher feeds mainly on invertebrates and crustaceans, frogs and small rodents and reptiles, yet rarely fish despite its name. It is known for its beautiful blue, green and turquoise plumage. This coin has a mintage of 23,995. Selling on eBay in August 24 
for around about $25 to $45, making it a little bit more expensive than some of the other 2011 $1 coins. Kookaburras are terrestrial tree kingfishers and are native to both Australia and New Guinea, growing to 47 centimetres and weigh about 300 grams. Of course, the kookaburra is best known for its distinctive call that has earned it its nickname of the laughing kookaburra. The kookaburra has a mintage of 21,889 and in August 2024 was selling for around about the $30 mark. The crimson rosella is a parrot native to eastern and southeastern Australia. It's a medium sized bird that is known for its stunning red plumage that may also be yellow or a mixture of red, orange and yellow. Rosellas are popular with tourists who sometimes end up being the perch for these bold birds as they gather to feed. This one has a mintage of 25,163 and in August, September of 24, was selling for around about the $30 to $45 mark. The Cairns Birdwing Butterfly is the largest endemic butterfly species of Australia and inhabits the northern coastal parts of Queensland and a small area at the very top of New South Wales. Its wingspan can be up to an impressive 15 centimetres or 5.9 inches. The males have predominantly black upper wings with emerald green flashes. The females are less colourful but larger than the males. And I think I've just discovered that this coin might well have a rotation error. What do you think? This coin has a relatively low mintage of 17,002. Selling in August, September 2024 in a range from 28 to $44. Also part of the Royal Australian Mint's Air Series set of coins, the grey-haired flying fox is of course not a fox, but the largest species of bat native to Australia. It's a fair name, however, as its reddish furry upper body and grey head is certainly reminiscent of a fox. It is found mostly within 200 kilometres of coastal regions from Queensland to South Australia, but these resourceful flying mammals have been expanding their territory in recent years, possibly in response to climate change. Selling in a range of $28 to $40 in August to September 2024, this coin has a mintage of 17,950. And to wrap up the 13 not intended for circulation coins produced in 2011, Dorothy Walls makes a yet another appearance as she is always part of the yearly Blunky Bill baby set, the design remaining the same as previous years. One sold for $37 in September 2024 on eBay on its own, but it is more usual to pick up the $1 Dorothy Wall coins as part of the Blinky Bill Baby Mint set that will normally set collectors back over $100 on the secondary market. Just one last thing, I am not a financial advisor and any coin values I have suggested in this video are subject to variation according to coin conditions and market variability. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.